Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say the that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free nice and the home of the elementary, middle, high school, or you're a college student, you have an obligation to do well in school, to give back to your communities no matter how young or how seasoned you may be, and you are truly, truly making your mark as students. So thank you so much for being with us on this Haitian Flag Day, and let the show begin. En nous battions gros bravo pour le président, Dr. Malusi Harrison. Thank you so much for being here, State Rep. Oh, but you don't have to stand up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What an honor. Ça, c'est pour ton mythe en communauté. Est-ce que nous d'accord? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I'll tell your story real quick, guys. Moi, je suis Haïti. Je fais Haïti, right? Combien de nous avons fait Haïti? Femme I okay. Meaning like all of you, the rest like you were born here in the United States, right? But I'll tell you a story. It doesn't matter. Koto sotia koto fetla. Haiti is in you. The fire. You agree? That's why. That's why we're gonna have a keynote speaker today. He's a brother. He's someone that I meet every day. We, we, we partner in so many activities in the Haitian community. Uh, he's a singer, a poet, an actor. And that guy is everywhere. But what he does is he's always showcasing the Haitian community in everything that he's doing. So, Sugade BT, Sugade Mr. Avec Wyclef, and so forth. He's always up front to show the flag, the Haitian flag. So we are very proud and honored to have him here today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce the new secretary of the Haitian Igbo Club, Sandaline Bernadine, and she will uh, formally introduce our keynote speaker. So make some notes for Ms. Bernadine. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. There you go. Bonjour. Today, I have the distinct honor of in introducing Mecca, aka Grimo. Mecca emerged from generation of baby boomers with music already imprinted in his bloodline. His five uncles were musicians, and his great uncle, Felix Maurice Oleroy, was a renowned poet who broke the language barrier when he started writing and reciting poetry and plays in Haitian Creole. Mecca followed the footsteps of his family lineage when he got himself in several genres of music at a young age, but none would be more influential than the culture hip hop. Beats and rhymes became the ingredient that um, Mecca started to experiment with. 
As he grew older, his love for music and songwriting became evident. He was added to Wyclef Jean's Sac Passé label brand and triumphed in the hip hop creole movement. In the process of networking and listening to productions from different producers, he was introduced to different genres of music that he could write to. The challenge was welcomed, and Mecca continued to broaden his musical experience. Mecca testifies that music crosses language barriers and diversity allows an artist to soar into an area of creative dimensions. He writes, records, and performs in Creole and English and is also an actor. Mecca has appeared and been featured in full-length short documentaries and TV shows. His latest work can be seen on episodes of Burn Notice, The Glaze, South Beach Town, and a short film title, An Eye on the Opposite Shore, which won Best Short Film and the Arlem Film Festival in 2013. He is currently the lead host for In the Mix TV, which premiered nationally in the fall of 2014 on WSFL TV. Mecca's latest film credits are A Miami Love Story, which will premiere at the Black Film Festival and African Film Festival this early summer. His nonprofit organization, Children's Hope Chest of Dreams, otherwise known FEPULI, has created avenues for children to experience themselves by creating a platform to educate through the arts. Music has been the avenue for Maker, so it's only right to give back to um, what he's arranged in his life. Maker continues to write, record, and perform in Creole and English, and is currently writing his first publication, Haiti Was Born in Me. He is also a mentor and big brother in the 5,000 Role Model of Excellence project started by Congresswoman Frederick Wilson. Please join in giving a warm Miami Day College North Campus welcome to Mecca, AKA Grimo. Please join me. Sac passé. Lord Mikoa. Allo, allo, allo. Ok, ok. Qui j'en ouye là? Nous bien? Everybody's good? All right. So, when I say sac passé, you said what? Ok, bah ça a changé depuis 2010. Ok? 2010, we changed that up. Lundi sac passé, nous fin boule. Ok? Nous fin boule. L'homme dit sac passé, nous allons dire nap, levé. Somebody next to you, all the non Creole speaking people, I'm pretty sure there's somebody who speaks Creole. Let them know what nap, levé means. Nap, levé means what? We're rising up. It's time. Sac passé! Nous levé, nous fin levé. Et c'est ça. I'm honored and humbled to be on this stage with you all today, Haitian Flag Day. This journey, my journey since childhood, when it wasn't popular to be Haitian, uh, was something that only you can experience. You can tell the story, but you cannot hide the shame and embarrassment of trying to take a different route home from school. You cannot hide trying to be accepted by different groups and your peers by lying to them and telling them that you are other than how you were raised and the legacy that your parents came from. I wrote a poem and I want to share it with you as part of my presentation because it outlines basically what I went through. Um, it's also the title of my book called Haiti Was Born In Me. The conch shell is very symbolic, by the way. Haiti became the first independent black nation in the world because of this trumpet of liberty that signaled the rest of the slaves down in the plantation to let them know that we would be coming back to free you one by one because we believed in our destiny. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. I wasn't born in Haiti, but Haiti was born in me. I wasn't born in Haiti, but Haiti was born in me. I'm a first generation Haitian who was also a part of the immigrant migration. My parents came here in search of a better life. Seeking salvation, they moved to the States. 
a risk many are willing to take, and the ones that do, by example, lead, and that brings us to where I was conceived, a place called Brooklyn, New York. Okay, when Brooklyn la, okay, okay, New York's in the house. Brooklyn, New York. Yes, I was born there, but still had the fear of acknowledging my own Haitian culture. I moved to Queens when I was six, and the same mind tricks that called me a refugee haunted me and made me not want to be Haitian. So how can I smile when my people are being made fun of? I'm asking my fellow peers, where's the love? Silly stereotypes would stab at my self-esteem, trying to submerge me in the strong currents of the Atlantic. When my parents would go to parent-teacher meetings, I would panic. Because when you heard my father's heavy Haitian accent, How do you do, Mrs. Johnson? That meant that I'd be the joke of the class the next day in school. Boat people, refugee, just to name a few, what was I supposed to do? So I crawled back in my shell all the while, still in denial of all of the rich history that Haiti had to offer to the world. It wasn't until I moved to Miami and I was already in my teens that's when I found out that Haiti was the first independent black nation in the world. In the Antilles, we were considered the pearl. So I started to research, archive, events and facts that may have fell through the cracks. No longer will I hide behind these silly stereotypes that denounce the legacy of my ancestors. Now I'm conducting educational workshops to the youth that once thought like me. I wasn't born in Haiti, but Haiti was born in me. Thank you. Thank you so much. That right there is, is heartfelt for me because I was asked to come here and be a keynote speaker and my message and what I have to say is in my poetry. That's, what I, that's how I found a way to express myself when I was shut out by different organizations and my peers. Just because, just because, just because I was Haitian. Nothing else, just because I was Haitian. I mean, you know, I'm light-skinned, so I passed for a couple of months, you know? Dominican, Cuban, and you know, they asked me to speak Spanish. I was stuck, um, you know, but they heard me speaking Creole to the other Haitian kids. They knew I was Haitian because our parents knew each other. They eat pate and climas on Sundays. So, but, but I was found out. He speaks Creole. He speaks Creole. Yeah, his parents are Haitian. Yeah, I see, I see his father with those slippers. <laughs> what I do want to tell you in the latter part of my presentation is that always believe in yourself. Always believe in yourself. What's so important is that we, don't, we take education for granted. And when I was a youth, education wasn't important to me. I wanted to bubble. I wanted to go out. I wanted to have fun. And that, that saying that says that if I knew then what I knew now is really not a joke. Is you'll hear a lot of people say that. If I knew then what I knew now, what does that mean? That means that I've matured. That means that I've accumulated a wealth of knowledge to make me understand that my ways and actions and some decisions that I've made in the past weren't right and exact and I could have done things a different way. The reason why I do the things that I do today and I take education really in high regard is because without education, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I was going. Education is what brought me to where I am right now. I'm a proud alumni of Miami-Dade Community College North Campus. <laughs> Let me say that again, I am a proud a proud alumni of Miami-Dade Community College North Campus. 
right here, I graduated right from right here. And I also went to the South Campus as well. Throw that, throw that in there if that was okay. You know, I know that they're affiliated. But education is what really brought me to light when I started to understand. Through education, you'll find out a lot about history that is not in the history books. Do your own research. Through education, you'll find out about the plight of a people that were stepped on, that were spit on on Fridays. There was a Friday dedicated for Haitians to get beat up every Friday. Either Haitians wouldn't come to school or the ones that did would get beat up because you were Haitian. It's a different day today. Haitians, make some noise. It's a different day today. Long ago, Miami-Dade Community College might not have hosted something like this, you know, but the magnitude of the wealth of knowledge of the plight uh, and, and of the people and who we are speaks in, in great numbers. Haiti, the first independent black nation in the world, what have we got to show and prove today? A lot of people say nothing, but I say a lot because a lot of our people have risen up. Now you can say that you're proud to be Haitian. There was a time that you couldn't even speak that. How many of you are proud to say that you are Haitian? How many of you are proud to represent the colors bleu rouge? People went through blood, sweat, and tears for this flag. This is not just on May 18th. You throw the flag on your head and you say, hey, I'm Haitian. I'm Zo. I'm this. L'Union fait la force. No, 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 no. 365, 24, 8. 24, 8. That extra day that you can give yourself, you Haitian all the way. All right? Haitian all the way. So I want to say to the growing classes, the classes that are already here, I see some of my former students, I'm a teacher as well, in Dade County and in Broward County. The thing that separated me from a lot of artists and opportunities is that I really took education seriously. I became a teacher. How else was I going to get into the schools without being screened every year and the paperwork taking weeks and weeks? I said, you know what? I'm going to take my education, my life, my career seriously my path to purpose. What is your purpose in life? I found my purpose in life. My purpose in life is to make sure that every child, whether you're Haitian or not, because this can transcend to you also. If you are who you are, never deny it. Never deny it. Okay, when I saw Wyclef put the flag, the Haitian flag, at the Grammys, he put the flag on his back. That's the first time I saw the Haitian flag in a positive light on TV. Every other time, I saw somebody that was hungry. I saw something that was lacking resources. All the negative, all the negative elements that you can think of. So what do you want a child to do that looks at these images and says, I, I'm proud to be Haitian? Yes, I see somebody that's hungry. I'm proud to be Haitian. I see some resources that are lacking here. I see people fighting. We need to start showing these positive, enriching images of our country, because it's there. When I went back to Haiti, beautiful, beautiful. I see why they called it Pearl of the Antilles, and this is in 1492, and I'm still calling it that now. The riches of Haiti are there. The riches of Haiti are in your heart, okay? And so I, what I want to say is peace and love to my growing class. There's time to play, but please take your education seriously. They will not take you seriously if you don't take your education seriously. Before you used to get by with just a piece of paper, now you need more than that. You need to really know, you need to back that piece of paper up. That piece of paper is only gonna speak to you for so much, all right? So on behalf of FEPULI, which is an organization when I first went to Haiti and saw that there was a growing need for resources in Haiti, I've helped other organizations uh, provide back to school um, bags, um, resources, and, um, you know, food used to be something that we used to send, but it used to be very um, uh, time-consuming getting it into the country. But help, help, help in any way that you can. Help. Send a postcard to somebody there that maybe wants to communicate with you. But Haiti is in your heart. And I just want to say peace and love. L'union fait la force. Liberté. Égalité. Fraternité. République d'Haïti, pour la vie.
Thank you so much. Pas de petit bravo, chiche pour mes cas et gris, mon nom, pas de bravo! Ça passe! Si ça a ici, nous y est levé, mais nous en l'air! Si ça a ici, nous y est levé! Si ça a ici, nous y est! Si ça a ici, nous y est! Levé, mais nous en l'air! Levé, mais nous en l'air! Levé, mais nous en l'air! Should we have to do that singing again, ma? That, that's next year. <laughs> Thank you so much for your words of wisdom. We really appreciate that. I know that you were supposed to be in New York and do all of that, but you make the sacrifice to be here. I wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for all the work that you do. You can't leave right now, man. We do something, we do things differently here at Miami Day College, no Tempers, as you know. So I'm going to call Miss Bernadine. We have something special for Mr. Mekaeke Grimo. What is that? There we go. So we want to formally acknowledge and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So, Ms. Bernadine, you say something? In honor of Haitian Flag Day 2016. I gotta get this light. Haitians gotta get this light. Let's go. The Haitian Evo Club recognizes you for your invaluable contributions to our students and the community and serving as the keynote speaker for this year's celebration. Thank you so much. I'm so honored and humbled again. One love, I wanna say thank you. I'm humbled and honored, Thank, especially on Haitian Flag Day. I take pride in this. I wear the flag on my sleeve. Any of you who know, it's the only tattoo that I have on my body. L'Union fait la force pour toute la vie. Um, I, I can't even express one love. I want to thank everybody that made this possible. Thank you so much. This is really a, a, a really a peak in my career. And I want to say thank you to be acknowledged by my alumni school, my peers that are here. I'm in different organizations with different um, elected officials that are here as well, and organizations, and I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate thank that. Thank you. So one thing I got to say, you, you, you recognize what he has in his hand, right? Comment ça en créole? Huh? Lambi. And you know the story about that Lambi, right? Ça, c'est façon que Neg Maonyo, the slaves, used to communicate between each other. Back of the time, we didn't have cell phone. So if I say, toot toot, I say, I'm right here. All right? So if I say, toot toot toot, I mean, I'm coming. Ah, right? I'm from, you know, I'm really from the countryside of Haiti, so I know. So whenever you see that, there's something behind it. This is what we used to do to communicate and say, hey, we're going to meet there. We're going we're gonna to fight together to have a freedom. So never forget when you see Lumbi, this is us. This is who we are. So if you can carry a Lumbi in your house, so be proud as you're having your flag. So thank you once again, Mekaike Grimo, for bringing the Lumbi here, because we really appreciate that to remind us our culture and who we are as Haitian. So we know that it's not only Mekaike Grimo that we are recognizing today. We have many people that we are doing, right? Of course. So of who, course. who else do we have, Miss uh, Bernadine? So I'll give you the stage, so I know that you got a lot to read, because uh, you've got to formally do that, right? So all right. Established in 1984, the Haitian American Nurses Association of Florida is a nonprofit membership organization. Alice Casimir and Jacqueline Das, two registered professional nurses practicing in Miami and other professionals, saw the need to establish an organization that would provide healthcare services to migrant workers in the Homestead, Florida area. Currently, H-A-N-A, -A, Hannah, compro comprises of six chapters in the United States. Hannah of Florida, Anna of Rockland, New York, Anna of Great New York, Anna of New Jersey. Anna of Georgia and Anna of Tampa, Florida. Anna fosters awareness and commitment to provide excellent nurses' services. Additionally, the organization strives to increase the enrollment of nursing students through education and mentoring opportunities as well as creating community networking opportunities for its members. Anna continues to provide scholarships for students enrolled in local nursing school and in Haiti. 
Anna has developed a teaching project initiative to send volunteer nurses, educators to teach a faculty science and female the Leogan FSL, FSIL, sorry, in Haiti to raise the level of nursing care and promote quality patient care in order for the nurses to become effectively involved in the betterment of the healthcare system of Haiti. Please join me in honoring and welcome Anna for the invaluable contribution to our students in the, in the community. Dr. Mary Etienne, please join us. My sister look good, so I got to make sure that, you know, I follow her and then... Bal bon temps de rest là. Let's go. Si nous aimons bien mon fond, bat bravo, oui, mes amis. Bonjour. Uh, my name is uh, Marie-Étienne. I'm one of the past presidents of the Haitian American Nurses Association. At this time, I'd like to um, call the president, the current president, who is Mrs. Amina Dubuisson, and the president-elect, Mrs. Marsha Eloi, to come up. <clears throat> um, the Haitian American Nurses Association is privileged to uh, have been award, um, to have been giving this distinguished honor today, especially on Haitian Flag Day. And being a professor here at Miami Dade College, I feel privileged, I'm honored, and I always feel welcome at North Campus. Thank you, Madam President Nailu Harrison. We love you and we appreciate you, and we know you put student first uh, at North Campus and at, at Miami Dade College. So at this time, I'd like to introduce the President. Merci, Dr. Etienne. Bonjour. Good morning, everybody. Um, my God, everybody looks so beautiful with their red and blue. We represent. Let's give ourselves a big round of applause. We are proud Haitian. And happy Haitian Flag Days to all. I want to say thank you to the staff of Miami Dade, Dr. Harrison. Thank you so very much for being such a great supporter of HANA. Uh, North Campus is always, always open for HANA. Thank you. I am also a proud alumni of North Campus. <laughs> I was telling Madam Vice President when I came here in 1990, I landed here on a Tuesday. On a Thursday, I was at the registration office registering for my classes. <laughs> So I'm proud that um, I get my first education from United States and not North Campus. Um, um, thank you for North Campus for recognizing us and thank you for the continuing support. And I will pass my Vice President, President-elect, uh, Marsha Eloy. Sac passé. Sac passé. Na pleve, pas vrai, na pleve, nous fin boule, like Mecca said. Um, thank you, Miami Dade Community College North Campus, for recognizing the Haitian American Nurses Association. Um, you know, I'm with Mecca. I wasn't born in Haiti, but Haiti was born in me. Um, I'm very proud of my culture. Um, I'm very proud of the way I was brought up. And I take that with me. I transfer it on to my children and praying that they will transfer it on to their children. It's a rich culture. Never be ashamed of who you are and where you come from. Everybody came, come from a different um, background and you all should be proud of who you are and where you come from and always represent. And let's make the Haitian culture proud. I, I say that to the children because we want to be good examples in the community. We want to show that we're not just celebrating a flag, but we're celebrating what we, what we represent and what we want to see in the flag. So when somebody look at you and they see that you are Haitian, we want them to see that you are a nurse. We want them to see that you are a doctor, a lawyer, 
a beautician, whatever your heart desire, we want you to be positive, productive citizens in the community, and we want you to thrive. So again, thank you so much for having us here today, and I am so, so, so proud to be a Haitian American. Thank you. On connaît nous même ici, nous même faire photo. Il faut que nous venions dans le temps pour nous faire lumière, pour nous faire bonne photo. Right? Pour nous, où est-ce que Thank you once again, Hannah. Appreciate it. Thank you. As you know, women are really the pillar of our community. From Sepoto Mita Community, nous get Mika as an artist, musician, actor doing great things in the community. We are proud, but we have also several women doing great things in the community. So we want to make sure that we acknowledge them as well. So Anna is a wonderful group, uh, uh, most of women qui a fait un pile de travail dans la communauté, à l'aider les gens en Haïti, dans tout l'autre côté. Donc, c'est très important pour nous supporter, pour nous montrer que nous-mêmes, filles ou bien garçons dans la communauté, nous voyons. Est-ce que nous sommes d'accord? <laughs> Talking about voyons, d'accord, people doing great things in the community, I know we're going to formally introduce her, a true friend of mine. So, let's do that before I, I, I say anything else. Born in Capaïtien, Haiti. That's why I was born too, guys. Mm -hmm. How many of you was born in Capaïtien? <laughs> the Honorable Daphne Campbell was raised by a single mother with very humble means. She and her four siblings were taught at an early age that education is paramount at the only answer to abolish poverty. Growing up as a child in Haiti, her mother was a community leader with a passionate sense of social justice and social responsibility. With a passion for education, State Representative Daphne Campbell achieved a nursing degree in Port-au-Prince, Haiti at Notre Dame School of Nursing. In 1981, she moved to New York City as a registered nurse and married her husband, Hubert Campbell, a Jamaican native. In 1987, she and her family moved from New York to North Miami Beach, Florida, District 108, where they currently reside and have owned various businesses. She has been in consciousness to be a mother, wife, critical care registered nurse, businesswoman, community leader, and community advocate in District 108 as the voice for the voiceless. State Representative Daphne Campbell has been a legislator for almost six years and has received countless awards for her leadership and contribution to the community. In honor of Haitian Flag Day 2016, the Haitian Igbo Club at Miami Dade College North Campus recognizes Daphne Campbell for her invaluable contributions to our, stu to our students and community. Please join me in recognizing the Honorable Daphne Campbell. A true leader full of life. DJ, I want to music for Daphne Campbell. Thank you. Come back in problem. I want music. Give me your music as she's working on stage right now. Something real creole that you know that you have, right? Yeah. On nous clape, on nous clape, fais bruit. Pla, 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 pla. Let's go try. On a Oh oh. Oh oh. On a vu. Bah attendez. À gauche. Okay, thank you, thank you, teacher. We're gonna go to the party later on, so you don't wanna miss. That's just a tease of that. State rep, thank you so much for being here. Please say some words to the kids before we run on you. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. You're good. Yeah. Sac passé. Mbata de nous. Sac passé. Naboule. Naboule. Premier monde qui fait au cap. Campé. Stand up. If you're born in Cabation. Only you. Come up front. Come here. Come here. Come. How many? He was born in Cape Haitian? That's not true. You're born here. <laughs> Come here. 
She was born in Cape Haitian. Come here. I'm waiting for one more. I think she's coming. She's coming down. Listen, let me, let me start. For those who don't know who I am, I'm Daphne Campbell. I am Campbell because I'm married to a Jamaican. But I'm Daphne Durand Campbell. I, am, I've, I have been in Tallahassee since 2010. I am the only Haitian woman in Tallahassee. Come on, come on, give it, give it up, give it up, give it up. Give it up. Proud Haitian woman in Tallahassee. Your president, President Malu, stand up a little bit, stand up. Because I'm going to make President Malu today Haitian woman. <laughs> today we're going to declare President Malu, because I'm a state representative, I could do that. <laughs> today, if you guys agree with me, I want you to stand on your feet and give her a big round of applause. If you agree for today, President Malu be Haitian woman. She got her citizenship, not temporary status, not resident green card. She is Haitian woman today. As of today, President Malu, anywhere you go, tell them I am Haitian. Proud to be Haitian. You got your citizenship, sit down. All right, she is. You know why I said she is? And let me finish first. I'm the only Haitian woman in Tallahassee, only nurse, only woman for Haitian. When I say only, only nurse, I don't hear no nurses clap at all. Only nurse. In the state house, though, we have a nurse in the Senate. You know why I give all my charges to President Malu today? When I got elected in 2010, I'm going to be very brief. I have two Haitian students who came with their parents to my office. They didn't have no papers at all. But they were 4.6 GPA. But the parents cannot send them to no school because they don't have no papers. I pick up the phone and I call Miami-Dade. Who answered the phone? Dean Malu. She was dean at the time, not president. And I said, my name is so so and so I just got elected. I was president-elect, not even sworn in yet. And she said, what do you need, president, uh, representative-elect? I said, well, this is what happened. She said, send them to me. And I sent them with a letter. The father came back and told me the way she received them that day, it was like he was a president of America. <laughs> president Malo. And let me tell you, both students now, one, she's a nurse, and the boy, she, I think he, he did uh, engineers, whatever class they have here. But the both of them graduated already, without no papers. They went to school free, F-R-E-E, -E, free. They didn't pay. They didn't pay a cent. But this is President Malu. And she been doing it for me. Every time they don't have no papers, I called her. They always, Miami did. This is why today she's Haitian. I am very proud to be here today with you guys. And I could tell all the students, anytime people ask you, where are you from? Even your mother, my, my kids, their father is Jamaican. But anywhere they go, they, all, they always say, I am Haitian. They didn't say they're Jamaican. So you have to be proud to say, I am Haitian. I am proud to say I am Haitian. I spoke Creole on the floor, and my speaker said, oh my God, Daphne, it sounds nice, but we don't understand it. I said, too bad. <laughs> it sounds nice. We don't understand it. When we passed in state tuition 2014, and I see one of my colleagues stood up and spoke Spanish, I said, you watch. I'm going to speak Creole too. <laughs> so I got my microphone, I said, speaker. And then when I said, I'm content. In cette tuition passé aujourd'hui, tout le monde est content. Everybody say, what she saying? I said, too bad, you guys don't understand. <laughs> but I know, I do know what I was saying. So, anywhere I go, and anywhere I am, they know I am Haitian, and I'm proud, a proud Haitian woman, a Haitian woman 
who do not care who you are. When she has to speak for her people, even your eyes green, blue, yellow, she's going to speak for you. That's Daphne Campbell. So I'm not scared of anyone. President Malu knows me very well. I fought hard for that community because we have to have a voice in Tallahassee. That's the reason President Malu could tell you when she goes to Tallahassee with our colleagues, I always receive them nice. And whatever money Miami did wants, I make sure Miami did got their money. Yes, President Malu. I make sure they got their money because I know Miami did have the largest Haitian population here. President Malu, on behalf of Haitian community, again, thank you for your service. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for everything you do for us. And I assure you, I will be the first woman senator, Haitian woman senator, and I'm going to give you more. Don't worry, you'll be okay. So let's all of us say, Haiti, 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 come on. Hi. Come on. I don't hear. Come on. Haiti. 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 Haiti! Hey, Sean! Hey, Sean! Hey, Sean! Haiti! Haiti! So, those who don't want to stand up, you're not Haitian? Come on! Why you sit down? You're not Haitian? You guys not Haitian? I want to hear you. What is this? Haiti! Haiti! Haitian! 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 All right, Haitian Flag Day. Thank you. Sit down. I told you. And she's full of energy. I think I'm going to need some of her energy to keep going today. Thank you again. We are very honored and proud of all the work that you are doing in the community. You are everywhere, everywhere. So thank you so much. And now we have a special recognition for you. And I'm going to have Miss Bernadine to read that. Daphne Campbell. In honor of Haitian Flag Day 2016, Miami Dade College, North Campus, and the Haitian Neighbor Club recognizes you for invaluable contribution to our students in the community. Thank you so much for coming. There we go. So now we got to do the pictures, right? All right, let's get ready to do the pictures. Uh oh. There we go. Of course. Thank you. I think you know what she's doing that to me, right? Haiti! Haiti! All right. There we go. Thank you once again, Sad Representative Daphne Campbell. Very honored. And make sure, if you want to volunteer, if you want to help out, her office is always open. So make sure that you make a call, or, you know, she has her reps here, as well here, so you can have her number, you can, you know, make a call and say, hey, I want to be part of, um, part of your office, I want to help the community. And I'm, I can be 100% sure that she will find you something to do, uh, you know, to help out the community, to make us better, to elevate the community. Thank you once again, Stan. Daphne Campbell, we really appreciate you being here. Give her another round of applause. That was, that was a lesson that she gave us. If you forget about everything today, there's one word that you need to remember. What is that word? And I don't know. What is it? Haitian. IT. So we know we're not gonna say Haiti. So we're gonna say the right way in, in French accent, right? IT. What about here? What do you say? Oh, you got that right. What about all of you here? Woo! Very great. 
Very great. So now we are moving on. Moving on. This is the best part, and that's what I like because I can go off script here. This is where we go to music, where we go to, woo! Where we go to the rara. How many of you like the rara? How many of you like the pickles? You know, I, I am from the south side of Haiti, so we have something called Tom Tom. Nukon Tom Tom. Yeah. Muno Durilalo. Banan Perze. Eh? Kisa? Greek is that? Yeah. Ah, I'm going to say that you're going to say that you're going to say that you're There's one food that is universal. You go to Dominican Republic, it's the same thing. You go to, um, you know, anywhere. You're going to say that you're yeah, rice and beans, we like that. So now, as we are moving on, they want grill? Mes amis, combien de cochons abandonnent pour nous tuer aujourd'hui? All right, so as we are moving on, so let's welcome a Miami Dade College student from the North Campus. I'm talking about Miss. Ersulia Jern, she has a wonderful song to share with us. Please make some noise for me, Jern. Hello, everyone. Oh, Haiti, si ou e chanti m'fini, si si che ou kem chasi, si e paske m'ap soufi, si ou e yon melodi ke wap tante yon chanti, si e kon sa mwen santi, Moi là devant chéri, ma pégade au cap t'es pas fini. Moi pas qu'à même ici. Chagré, tristesse, mais t'as que moi pour y'en finir que la vie. Alors, prends plein pour m'écrire. Écrire pour m'aider au pardon, pour m'aider au pardon pour quoi qu'à l'autre frère, yo, bah, oh, pardonner au tissu. Yeah. 
Haïti chante pour Haïti pour me dire ma vie. Haïti, confiance moi faire que moi pas qu'à la guerre avec ma valuté. Oh oui, oh oui, Bria va courir, nouvelle va gagner. Le ça, tout a essayé ensemble, va mettre mes nommés pour faire ce chimé. Mais ça, je l'ai passé, le n'a libéré, attendez. Force, non, non, l'union liée, non, l'union, non, l'union, non, l'union, non, l'union liée. Oui, pas carré, papier, un film, oui, vision troublée. I gotta tell you that um, a little bit of translation from that song in a couple of words. It means no matter how deep is the pain, no matter the struggle we are going through, our spirit is strong. We stand with you, Haiti. And that song was made back then. I was in Haiti. I was in the studio. I had the honor to work with some of the artists on the script. And we did the video in Haiti and Dominican Republic. It was what was going on between Haiti and Dominican Republic. All the, you know, you're not that Haitian. You're not Dominican. You have an accent. So we made that song to say we are one island. But most of it, we stand with Haiti no matter what. So make some noise once more for me, Jern. Now I want to welcome one of our own, the Haitian Ebo Club dance team for a wonderful performance.
Ajá. Sí. <laughs> you see, my mom always say one thing, and I think that's true. If you want to know true Haitians, in between of the song, there's one word you got to add into it. And they all going to move. You know that word? Uh-huh. But these songs, you guys were like, uh-uh, you know, things like that, right? Did you like it? So you got to make some noise for the Haitian Evil Club dance team. Yes, yes. So now I would like to, um, of course, give a special recognition to our esteemed guest speaker, Meka, a.k.a. Grimo, for sharing his words of wisdom and encouragement with us. Make some noise for Mr. A.k.a. Grimo, Meka. Also, our uh, performers and invited guests, Breton Elementary School, the Linda Lenton K-8 Center, Yes, yes, and also we have the North Miami Beach Senior High School in the house as well, and all the other schools make some noise, faculty and their students for being here with us today, we are very honored, our uh, campus administration, uh, Dr. Malusi Harrison, president of the North Campus and the whole cabinet, make some noise for them please. And also the New Student Center, the Student Life Department, media services for that wonderful stage, sound, audio. So thank you and the Haitian Ebo Club. Now this is the moment. Because I know you all wanted that. You want to, you know, hear about the culture. You want to see the music. But most importantly, you want to eat. <laughs> ah. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do as we're going out, right? As we're going out, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to take one minute. So we're going to do one thing real quick. What do you guys want to eat? Okay, I heard a lot of grill here. I heard a lot of grill here. What do you guys want to eat? Okay. On dit que l'âme dans les dit soupe jo mou. What, what do you guys want to eat? Plantains, griot. Oh, I've never said it's a bouillie banane. Oh, how do you know it's a bouillie banane? All right. So here's what we're going to do, guys. As you are men seated, we're going to have the first wall first to go out. And please join us outside at the atrium where we're going to have some wonderful Haitian food. Thank you once again, and happy Haitian Flag Day!